what's up guys welcome to another video of modern javascript for lm3 development series so in today's video we will learn about rest parameters and spread syntax you must have seen the syntax or parameters with starting with three dots three full stops i would say but if you have not seen it so i would say today is your lucky day so let's open the playground first okay now first let me tell you like what is the rest parameter and spread syntax so basically the rest parameter syntax allow a function to accept n number of arguments as an array and then it will collect it in a single parameter and use it accordingly for example let's suppose like we are creating a basic sum function but you don't want to limit the number of parameters in it you don't want to limit the number of arguments in it in that case yes you should use the rest parameters here let's understand it using a simple example okay so let's create a function sum and let's suppose like you don't want uh, a specific number of parameters here let's suppose you need n number of parameters that can be uh, you know uh, sum up together so for that you can add a rest parameter here to so for the rest parameter you just have to add three dots first and then you just have to put the parameter name so let's say uh, or maybe parameters like that okay then we'll create the same function and let's have a total first okay now as this rest parameter will be having multiple values so for that we have to create a loop to uh, create a sum of it Okay, then here you can do it like total plus is equal to parameter and then you can simply return total. Okay, now let's check the output of it. So let's suppose if I will have console.log here and I will call that sum function. Now here let's suppose for example i'm passing two parameters first so you can see the output here is 10 okay now let's suppose if i'm using the same parameter uh, same function with other parameters so now here i'm passing multiple parameters so you can see the output here the sum of all these parameters so basically you should use the rest parameters where you need a collection of n number of parameters okay so while creating a rest parameter there are a few important things to remember okay a function definition uh, last parameter can be prefixed with three dots so wherever you are using a function only the last parameter can have these three dots and can be defined as a rest parameter which will cause all remaining parameters to be placed within a standard javascript array okay so whatever parameters will be getting there that will be converted to a standard javascript array kind of a thing so for that for example let's suppose if we are having a function So if you are creating functions so in your function only the last parameter can have this rest thing okay a function definition uh, can have only one rest parameter in it so let's suppose if you're creating function so there could be only one rest parameter let's suppose if you will create a function like this
so it is not the right way of doing it because a function can have only one rest parameter and that rest parameter should be on the end of the function so if you will try something like this also this is so this is also a wrong way of doing it the right way of doing it would be to have this rest parameter at the end of this function so this would be the right way of using the rest parameters okay now that you understand how rest parameter work let's see one more example okay and try to guess like what would be the output whether it would be an error or maybe the output will be generated so let's suppose if i'm having an array Okay, so there are two arrays. Okay. Now in array one, I'm assigning the values of array one and array 2 now if i will try to print this array 1 what is going to be the output of it let's check it out if you have guessed 1 2 3 4 then congratulations like that is going to be the output here okay if you get the correct answer if your guess was 1 2 3 4 then you understand how the spread operator works yes you heard me right this is an example of spread operator the three dots operator has two uses as a rest operator it is used to gather up all the remaining arguments into an array but as a spread operator it allows a, it allows an iterable such as an array or a string to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments or elements are expected it is just either expanding or collapsing uh, the iterable parameters so spread syntax looks looks exactly like the rest syntax in a way a spread syntax is the opposite of rest syntax spread syntax expand an array into its element while rest syntax collects multiple elements into a single element if you would like to learn more about spread and rest uh, how spread and rest works then do check out the official documentation link in the description uh, of this video so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching